Concede nothing, reject nothing, just listen. Try understanding him instead of trying to dominate him. This is Jonathan Groff, an actor known for both his stage and film work. He's been nominated for two Tonys for Spring Awakening and Hamilton. More recently, he's continued to probe the minds of serial killers as FBI Special Agent Holden Ford in Mindhunter, and he's reprised his role as Ice Harvester Kristoff in Frozen 2. You could say Jonathan got his start in acting at the age of four. I was Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz <laughs> in my dad's barn. He did theater throughout middle and high school, made the at the Fulton Opera House in his hometown of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and finally made the decision to move to New York to pursue an acting career. Well, that turned out to be a good decision, because his first major role in a stage show was the lead character of Melchior in the rock musical Spring Awakening, about teenagers' turmoil discovering their sexuality in 19th century Germany. Just watch me, I'm called. His performance earned him a Tony nomination and led to plenty of other theater opportunities. As for film and TV, his first on-screen appearance was on the soap opera One Life to Live as a resentful high school student spurned by the girl he has a crush on. I got pissed off at the way she treated me, but I'm calmer now, and I realize I just have to stick to the plan. Then, after playing Woodstock organizer Michael Lang and taking Woodstock, and a witness giving testimony to the conspiracy to assassinate President Lincoln in The Conspirator, Jonathan played the delightfully arrogant Jesse St. James in Glee. I'm kind of nervous. <sighs> I remember when I used to get nervous. Although Jesse was only a recurring character, the show was obviously a perfect fit for his singing abilities. Yeah, we could have had it all. The same could be said for Jonathan's role as Kristoff, the unlikely love interest for Anna in Frozen. But people smell better than reindeers. Sven, don't you think I'm right? And definitely worth mentioning, although it's short, is his performance as a grateful war veteran in American Sniper. Then in the mid-2010s, when Jonathan wasn't busy voicing Kristoff in Frozen-based shorts or winning an ensemble Grammy Award for being a part of the cast of Hamilton as King George III, he played the heartbreakingly self-conscious Patrick in the dramatic HBO series Looking, about three friends looking for love in San Francisco. Okay, Cupid, huh? I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone, you know, get a boyfriend and a roommate. More recently in Mindhunter, Jonathan became the audience's window into the inception of the FBI's early days when they were just beginning to investigate the behavior behind serial killers. I was the hunter, they were my victims. So how did you feel after your first kills? As Holden Ford, Jonathan perfectly exhibits a kind of macabre interest in his interview subjects. But like a lot of actors, film and TV is really only half the story. Jonathan continues to cultivate his passion for performing on stage. He's even set to star as Seymour in a revival of Little Shop of Horrors. If Holden Ford were to create a profile of Jonathan Groff and his acting career, it might read, male, white, mid-30s, loves Sondheim, often likable but could be considered dangerous, and may show overt signs of being an absolute joy to watch. And I want to tell you so much, I love you.